All right, so uh, taking a short break from uh, working what I was working on, uh, we're, we're just going to chuck all sorts of random nonsense in here. All right, uh, so what we need to do is we need to uh, sort of get off our butt here And let me uh, close up. Hold on a moment. Let me go ahead and close the blinds here because uh, my desk my, my desk setup is good for typing uh, when it's dark. Uh, when when there's a lot of light, it's not very uh, pleasant. So we got six axes, which is probably going to be enough for what we need. So uh, we're today. Uh, today I'm just going to spend some time uh, filling up the uh, current uh, source of our issues here. Uh, I want to like put more time into like expanding this area. But unfortunately, we are, like, almost completely out of jungle wood. Because, uh, I want to fill up, like, a couple chests. But, uh, that's not going to happen, like, today. So, uh, the problem is, is I actually need to, like, make an area dedicated to just harvesting, uh, jungle wood here. Like, I think this would be an appropriate spot. Yeah, this, this is an appropriate spot. So, taking a brief break out of my day to get this recorded... Um, so I'm kind of, like, in the midst of, uh, working on a couple of, like, projects, both, uh, related to my master's program and to the channel. And unfortunately, uh, the way things have worked out is, uh, <laughs> I don't have a lot of time to record because after this I have to get back to, uh, what I was working on. But, uh, I was supposed to, uh, be helping my grandma clean today, but that's gonna be moved to tomorrow. And the music's a bit too loud for me right now. Let's, uh, turn that down just a tad bit. So, I get up to leave to go help my grandma, and then, like, as I'm, like, halfway there, I get a call from her, and she's like, oh, hey, um, I'm not really feeling up to having you come over to clean today. Uh, can you come over tomorrow? And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, sure. Because I'm, I'm not going to tell her no. <laughs> like, it's a grandma. Like, I'm not gonna say no to her. So, I pretty much, uh, had to come back. But, uh, getting- getting back home was a trip. So, uh, imagine, like, when you try to turn around, and then you encounter, like, every sort of, like, conceivable thing that would get in the way of getting home. Like, I got stuck behind a mailman, uh, who was, like, stopping at every single mailbox. And then, like, I got stopped at every single, like, stoplight. And it, it, it's just kind of one of those things where it's like, yeah, sometimes this happens. Like, the statistics behind it happening are pretty, pretty low, but it's still feasibly possible for something like that to happen. 
And it just so happens that I had to deal with that. And I am being, like, slowly reminded that, uh... The drop, the drop rate for jungle saplings is actually terrible. Like, I could actually put some effort into, like, clearing the jungle over there. But I, I don't want to do that right now. But I am, like, chewing through my bone meal supplies. But we, we are making good progress on, like, replenishing our reserves of jungle wood. Which is something that kind of needed to happen. And I'm just merging these axes together to just try and make things easier on me. Alright, so let's uh, run back over here and deposit some of our wood. And our excess material. Like, we, 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 we've managed to get back a good chunk of, like, what I burned through, like, with our more recent uh, add-ons. Which is pretty good. But uh, I do need to uh, replenish this jungle wood for a very specific reason. Uh, the reason I'm going out of my way to get all this jungle wood is primarily due to the fact that I need to build a new area for my uh, cows and sheep and whatnot. And what we have right here isn't really uh, cutting it, so to speak. But I, I would like to use uh, uh, this weekend to sort of uh, try and get ahead on recording. Because uh, at the moment, uh, I'm, I'm sort of in a bind. Because uh, I have been, like, recording these, like, the day of for the past week or so. And it's very stressful. Okay, there we go. Like, just trying to do it, like, the day of. I would not recommend, like, recording stuff the day of. Alright, so now it's nighttime. So let's go ahead and sleep. Uh, we'll make ourselves, like, a couple more axes. Because I would like to replace, like, all of this area with, like, birch wood. I, I mean, jungle wood. Not birch wood. Why, why would I say birch wood? Uh, like, I know I do need to, like, do some harvesting runs of, like, the birch tree farm and the other farms as well. Uh, the potato farm is doing pretty great, actually. Like, yeah, it'll take a couple days for everything to, like finish fully growing, but I'd say we're doing all right. And eventually I'll have, like, built up a surplus on, uh, What's it called? Uh, like jungle saplings and jungle wood. Like, the, the fact of the matter is, it's like really hard to like stockpile certain material. And now we're gonna need more axes. But uh, I'm gonna burn through like what bone meal I have in my inventory, and that'll probably be enough jungle wood to last us for a while. 
It's just a matter of uh, making sure I don't run out of material. To uh, work with here. But I'll, I need to, like, clear out a space over there to, uh... Like... I, I need to make separate buildings dedicated to, like, different animals. So, uh, for sheep, I'm gonna need, like, one of every kind of sheep for... Uh, a wool farm. Uh, I'm gonna have to learn how to make that, because... I'm old, and I don't know how to do all these, like, fancy automated things that uh, these new new kids know how to make. These newfangled redstone machines that all these kids know how to make nowadays. Am I showing my age? I'm, I'm probably showing my age here. Uh, Let's go ahead and keep going here. God, I love the timber mod. It, the, the timber mod, like, cuts down on, like, a significant amount of time I would be spending doing this. Alright, as soon as I break this, like, next axe, I, I think we'll be good on uh, our jungle wood for now. merge these together. And this will probably be the last tree we chop down. Yeah, this is going to be the last tree because I don't have any more uh, room necessarily in my inventory. So I'd say that was a pretty good uh, run in terms of like getting material. Uh, I went through half of my bone meal stockpile here, but we can always get more. So, let's go ahead and deposit all of this and check on just how much we've got. We got, like, another stack of uh, jungle wood. Uh, I mean, jungle saplings. So, I think this mostly fills up this chest here. Uh, now, we still got a couple more layers to go there. But you know how it is. Like, sometimes it just takes a while to get things. Yeah, I should probably go check on the, uh... Stuff over here. But we do... we Thinking about it, I do need to, like, replenish my charcoal stockpile soon. So that's another thing I'm gonna have to worry about. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so, two more stacks and that, that one will, uh, be good. Uh, we do need to, like, build a sort of facade around this area here to, like, hide the ugly cobblestone structure that, uh makes up our iron farm here. There we go. 
slowly but surely, like, stockpiling the, uh... What's it called? Uh, uh, slowly but surely stockpiling iron blocks. Uh, iron blocks are definitely going to be used everywhere. Uh, just not visibly. Because I plan on, like, getting beacons everywhere by, like, a thousand days. Uh, I, I have, like, plans for, like, a thousand days out. Alright, uh, have I filled up the poppy chest yet? No. Like, as soon as I fill up the poppy chest, the rest of the poppies are just gonna get converted into bone meal. I should probably get some more iron to make some more iron axes. Because, uh, we, we do need to, like, go out of my way to... Like, harvest everything we possibly can. Because, uh, the thing is, is, like, I need to go out of my way to, like, harvest things. Otherwise, we're gonna have a problem. And Acacia... Acacia is going to be a very touchy subject for a while. Uh, Acacia wood has a problem where it has some pretty darn low uh, drop rates. Like, horrendously bad drop rates. Which is why I really got to keep an eye on these saplings. Because the drop rates are either really, really good or really, really bad. And it's a bit of a mix between that. So we're gonna make sure to grab as much of this as possible. And they're, they're kind of just here until I can find a better spot for them. Because if I'm gonna grow like acacia, I, I need to like have a lot of space for them to grow and unfortunately I don't have a lot of space for the space for them right now because um, like th this like past hundred days here like it's day 366 uh, were initially supposed to be spent in the nether and then I realized how much time that takes that takes a lot of time the nether is not your friend at all So, there, there is that. But, like, at, at this point, we are, we are gathering resources and, like, flip-flopping between uh, building things and working on things that need to be worked on. And I do need birch logs for a couple of projects. Uh, for the areas that I, I have uh, stuff growing... Uh, I would like to use, like, the wood t of, uh, the planks of that specific log, uh, to just show what they are. Of course, there's some, like, things where it's like, well, you can't grow certain, certain things in the nether, so there's that. But just spending my time harvesting all this stuff is really important to me. And I actually need to spend a lot of time, like, AFKing over there, because some of that stuff has not grown in. And we're, we're only, like, collecting oak over here for apples and, uh... Well... Uh... The the logs. Like, it's not like jungle wood where I'm using it to build everywhere. Because, like, building out of jungle wood has pretty much just been, like, pure practicality. And the fact that I like orange-tinted sort of stuff. And it goes along with all the, uh, 
massive amount of pumpkins I've been using. Because I have just been using, like, hilariously large amounts of, uh... Uh, pumpkins. But uh, I do actually need to uh, start producing lanterns. Because I, I just recently learned, like, the recipe for lanterns. Because I didn't know that the crafting recipe for lanterns was pathetically simple. And that the only reason I didn't know it was because I'm a moron. Who uh, didn't actually bother looking it up until now. Because uh, I didn't know that uh, you just needed, like, the, like, little iron nuggets here to make, uh, the lanterns. Now, it's not really feasible if you don't have, uh, what's it called? Um, an iron farm? But if you're like me and you have an iron farm, well, it's fair game. Uh, eat real quick here. But, uh, th this summer is gonna be a very interesting time for me. Because, uh, I, I, I want to, like, put in a ton of work into all my personal projects. Unfortunately, anything that requires money this summer is kind of off-limits for me. So, like, with my with my whole job thing, uh, unfortunately, uh, by the time I managed to get my, my job back and all that, uh, there was only, like, one day of work left for the school year. And unfortunately for me, I happened to... Uh, not have a lot in the savings department uh, at the moment. And I really kind of have to watch my savings for like the rest of the year. So that's not really an option for me uh, to do anything that involves going anywhere. Because this summer I was initially planning on going to see Mount Rushmore. Uh, I was gonna go camping, and at the beginning of the year, I was like, you know what, there's no feasible way for me to do this. <coughs> do this. And I, I, ke I kept thinking about it, and now I'm at a point where I'm like, yeah, there's definitely no way I, I would be able to do this, because, uh, lo and behold, um... Gas is 450 in my area. Uh, this is the highest it's ever been since I started driving. And it looks like it's only going to get higher. So I'm kind of in a bind. As uh, there's no feasible way I can actually justify like going on a road trip with uh, this sort of situation going on. So let's go ahead and head on back here and deposit some stuff. And I'll probably do like another recording session here because uh, I, I do need to gather up some more supplies for uh, the area I'm going to build. Because I need to build a bridge to uh, the other side of the river because I'm going to build... Uh, this next batch of buildings, like, over on that side of the, uh, water. Uh, not gonna do anything over here yet, because I, I need to, like, clear out this massive area over here. 
And I do need to, like, make a pathway to spawn. At some point. Because, uh, building a pathway to spawn is something on my to-do list. Uh, do I have, like, an acacia log chest here? I mean, sapling chest here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we do. Uh, we need to build this up pretty significantly. Uh, do I have, like, a place for my acacia logs? To be precise? Yes, yes, I do. Okay. Like, I, I am just being, like, super stingy about, like, stockpiling supplies and all this. But it'll pay off in the long run. It's just a matter of, uh, making sure that I go about this in a, in a reasonable manner. So, this will be it for this recording session. Uh, next recording session, uh, we're gonna be gathering up a, a number of different supplies. Uh, mainly, uh, what's grown over here, because I need to harvest some of this, but I also need to, uh, get off my butt and harvest some more jack-o'-lanterns, because uh, we're gonna need a lot of those for over there. Uh, we're gonna end up building a bridge here. We're gonna build a bridge, uh, that goes across here. But that means I'm going to have to, like, set up an area over here, uh, do some more work, so work on the docks here. Because I, 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 I need, I, I have this, like, need for, like, uh, places to walk around here. And it, it's kind of unnecessary, but it, it's just something I like having. So, we'll be doing that.